Welcome back to Don's Life, welcome to the channel, thanks for joining today. Today's video we're going to look at upgrading the charge pipes and the J-pipe in my BMW M4 without removing the charge cooler. I want to see if we can do it. If we had to remove the charge cooler, we'd have to empty all the coolant, possibly make a mess, and then put it all back together. Well, let's get into it. Okay, before we get into the install, take everything apart, let's talk about why we wanted to upgrade our charge pipes and J-pipe in the first place. Well, BMW S55 motors have plastic charge pipes that are prone to cracking, possibly breaking, as well as the J-pipe underneath that goes to this charge cooler, which takes the air and cools it before it goes into the motor because it's hot exhaust air getting cooled, going back into the motor from the turbos. So we're going to take these off, inspect them, see if there's any issues, if there's any cracks, and then replace them with these. Man, sure got dusty in here. Might have something to do with the road trip that we went on to pick these up. We didn't actually go on the road trip to pick these up. We went to a car show in Calgary. Check out that link above. Pretty, pretty good car show, some comedy in it too. Maybe you wanna see it. Some really nice cars as well. I picked up these charge pipes from somebody in Calgary. I was just looking through like a, a buy and sell website. They're brand new, but he had an M4. He was selling them because car prices right now were at an all time high, but he didn't do the install of some of these accessories yet. So I bought them off him. They were still brand new and we're going to install them in my M4. So let's keep going. All right, we got the first one off. I'm not seeing any obvious cracks. We have a little bit of oil residue inside, which means that an oil catch can might be a good investment. So we might have to look at doing that down the road. But other than that, it looks okay. But when I compare them, it's the same one here. When I compare them, I think I'm definitely going to like the aluminum one much better. I think the airflow will be nicer too. No cracks on this guy. A little bit of oil residue, not too bad. The first one is worse. Okay, now let's get to the J-pipe side. Okay, so I think we can undo the bracket right there to the top of the J-pipe. 
And then we can work this out of here. So there's some flexibility in these hoses. Once we loosen that, we should be able to pop this up out of the grommets because it's just held in much like the engine cover is. And then hopefully we can slide it over enough to access the J-pipe because I really don't want to drain the coolant out of this and then top it up and then run it through the process of getting all the airlock out of it. So let's uh, loosen that off and see what we get. All right, the charge cooler with the hose is still intact, moved out of the way quite a ways. So we have great access to the J-pipe it's got a retainer clip on it that's kind of like a one-time deal. Once you take that off, you can't use it again, but that's okay because our new J-pipe uses a different method of connecting. We just have a PCV hose we need to unhook from the side here. And we have just a bit of wiring that's clipped on there as well. So let me tend to that and then we'll pull this off. We have a little bit of oil in here. That's okay, it's not terrible for it, but a catch can, like I said before, might be a good investment. Okay, here's our old J-pipe. Here's the new one. This one has some meth injection ports here. We're just gonna put some thread tape on there to make sure they're completely sealed. We're not doing meth injection today. Now we're gonna put our new O-ring in. Goes just in here. Trying not to twist it. There we go, seated properly. Now this one connects with this retaining clip here. We're just gonna test fit it. All right, the clip's on and everything looks okay. All right, the J-pipe is installed. Everything looks tight. Let's do the charge pipes. Okay, we gotta take out these O-rings from the old charge pipes and put them in the new ones.
Everything seems tight and in place. Sensors hooked back up. I think we're good to go, but uh, we'll just finish putting all the trim back together. You might scrape your fingers too. A little bit of an injury there, but that's part of the fun. Uh, and we'll make sure there's no leaks by firing it up and inspecting everything. And then we'll take it for a drive. So if you didn't know, you can actually loosen these a little bit and back them out. They actually come out quite a ways, they're adjustable. But because these charge pipes stick up a little bit, we need this to be a little higher for it to clip in. There, now it's biting. Better. All right, I'm ready to go do a quick uh, 10 or 15 minute test drive and we'll make sure we don't have any problems. All right, we are back in the Donzai garage. We got our old charge pipes here and the old J pipe. Close visual inspection. I don't think they were cracked, but the whole point is what if they ever did crack, then we'd lose our pressure and we don't want to lose that boost. So we have the new upgraded ones in there. I think they'll perform much better, uh, at least longevity wise compared to these. Maybe we'll have to install an oil catch can based on some of the uh, residue that's been coming through these. Not that that's a really bad thing, but we do want to keep the intake side of things cleaner if possible, so a catch can would do that. But uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm glad we did the upgrade, more of a preventative measure versus performance, but that's what you do sometimes. Well, if you like today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.